All right, today we're installing a license plate holder for my Audi S4. Should sit something like this. Now there are quite a bit of tools that were kind of available in this kit. So we got like a little supporting clamp. This is probably gonna go right into the, the metal of the car. We got some, some cushions here, some little caps, we got screws, bolts, washers, all types of good stuff in here. So we're gonna try to figure this out and see how everything goes. So I think the first thing I wanna do is actually get this clip inside this little square hole some type of way. And this came with the car. I assume the license plate, the original was actually ripped out of here. It's kind of why that uh, support thing came out and just went still in here. So we're gonna see how this is gonna work out. I also noticed some rust around this little area right here. So I'm going ahead and actually setting that down with some 150 grit sandpaper. I actually paint over that with some uh, black paint so it won't continue to rust. All right, so I just finished up, sanded it down. I added some, some matte black paint to it. That's the only thing I had. But since the license plate is going to cover all this up, I'm not too worried about the appearance of it. All right, so now it's time to get this anchor clip in. And this is actually the most difficult part of the whole install, depending on what car you have and kind of how uh, big the holes that you're actually sticking this into. So this hole right here on my car is actually pretty small. So it's gonna take a lot of maneuvering to actually get this uh, anchor clip into this little square section right here. All right, so I kind of got lined up to a certain extent. And I think what I gotta do now is kind of hit it in there with a hammer. Let's see if we can get this hammer on here. I'm gonna try to press it in first and now I'm gonna have to hammer it. Oh my gosh. All right. So I finally got the anchor in here. And if you guys wanna know how to do it, simply get it lined up, get you a hammer, go ahead and line it up and then put all of your weight on it until it goes in. And we finally got this one in there and that's, that's not going anywhere. So, after you get this done, the next uh, couple of steps are super, super easy. Uh, all right, so with your license plate holder, depending on what kit you have, it might come with some uh, cushions here, some little stick-on cushions. You, got, you can actually put these uh, on the back of your plate. So somewhere in this section, this section here, and that kind of protects your pain, a bunch of different things from scratching up. But since I already have some uh, leftover uh, pads from the previous use, I'm gonna actually leave these on here and uh, not worry about these, but these are super easy to install. Just take them off, put them where they need to be and you'll be good to go. All right, so what I have here is a Phillips head and then some self-tapping screws or pretty much wood screws. These are gonna uh, support the license plate holder bracket. So all you gotta do is line it up, figure out where you want it to be. So I'm gonna take one of the screws right here. I'm gonna grab a washer, actually slide this into the washer just like that. I'm gonna try to slide the screw into the hole right here. All you gotta do now is take your Phillips head and just screw into the proper hole. And I'm gonna just get it started. That way I can line up the right side also. There we go, now that I got the license plate kind of lined up where I want it to be. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten everything down. And that's not going anywhere. It's on there pretty securely. And then the next steps are super, super simple. And sorry for the visibility, it's getting kind of dark outside. This is black on black, so. But the last thing you wanna do is pretty much get yourself your license plate and then your license plate frame. And then get yourself four screws. You actually only need two with this license plate, so I'm gonna only use two of these, two of these screws right here. And then depending on what brand of license plate holder you get, if you get the same one that I have, link in the description below, it's gonna come with these little, um, these little buttons. You can actually put a top on these and kind of hide where the screws are. So all I'm gonna do is take my screw. I'm gonna actually slide it into here just like that take your license plate slide it into the frame that you want to use slide your first screw through line up with the holes on the license plate holder so it's one right here at the top 
so I'm actually gonna move my license plate holder down uh, one row because uh, the rear view camera is blocking if you able to sit properly. So I'm gonna do it without the frame. So same concept, just take your frame, line it up with the hole, screw it on in. Then once you have one started, grab another one. Then just get everything lined up. Take your Phillips head. Then the last thing you wanna do is grab some of those tops. And then these should slide right on top of where those holes are. So grab this one real quick. And final results. And it's honestly that simple. So once the anchors are in, which is the hardest part, took about 15 minutes maybe, make sure you use a hammer. After those anchors are in, everything else is smooth sailing. If you guys wanna check out this, uh, this kit, it's a link in the description below from Amazon. And also, you guys want to get a vanity plate also on Amazon. So check those out too. If you guys want to see more content on the S4 or anything like that, check out my recent videos. Also, subscribe. I'm making new content really soon. Uh, other than that, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.